When games like Fortnite and Apex Legends have proven what can happen when you strive to make your game as accessible and inclusive as possible. Proven that people will just swap the controller because it's so freaking broken. <laughs> We've proven there's so much division that people are more concerned about the input you use rather than the lack of content in the game and the egregious cosmetic pricings that they always push on people and the lack of events, the lack of eventful events. They have events all the time, but nothing's added. Oh, they've proven some stuff. All right, brother. Golly. Maybe it's the problem. Maybe folks are just too optimistic so much so they, they refuse to actually look at things objectively. Again, this is all my opinion, but people have preferences. Some people can't or couldn't afford a PC growing up and lived on an Xbox or PS. I did. That was me. And I'm still adamantly against this shit. Whatever happened to having players actually get good at video games? That is the reality. You hear it all the time, right? Get good, blah, blah, blah. But I'm saying get good in the sense of progression. Everyone wants to skip the idea of being bad at something. When you skip that, you don't get the good feeling of actually becoming better, becoming greater at something. Why are we trying to remove that aspect, the growth aspect from these games? We want to make everyone have the same potential, but it's artificial. It's not raw. It's not natty. These are some non-natty mother efforts, bro. Half natty, as Matt Elgus would say. It just ain't the wave. I, like Nick Merckx and Snipedown, and many others have spent hundreds of thousands of hours playing video games on a controller. Cool. Should all these people not be able to compete in Apex, Fortnite, or other fairly balanced, or other fairly balanced multi-input games just because we don't play your preferred input for competitive integrity? You have you not seen people like I play on 4-3, right? 4-3 classic. There's no universe I'm tracking someone doing this nonsense in Apex. If you're going back and forth, I'm not tracking that with controller. It's hard to track with mouse and keyboard sometimes. Yet, because of aim assist, I am glued to these people. I am aimbotting people, literally. Valorant and CS are MK only because they are tactical shooters and controller as an input is awkward. That's entirely logical. I disagree. I wish I could play controller on CSGO and Valorant for fun. I disagree completely. See, that's where you lose me there. You lose me there entirely. I'm talking about accessibility and inclusivity. Can you even plug in a controller up to Valorant and CSGO? Is that even possible? Because if not, that's inaccessible. There's a difference between making something allowed, right? Like making it so you can do something versus making something really powerful for no reason. So the difference is letting you play controller in Apex, Overwatch, whatever game it is, letting you do it versus letting you do it and then making it strong. My friend Micah plays controller in Overwatch. He is insanely talented. He has to play controller because he has medical condition, arthritis, I believe, something like that. And he's really good at the game. He's even had time for he's playing Ana on controller in PC lobbies and Grandmaster. Now, to be fair, Grandmaster is garbage now. It means nothing in, Ape in Overwatch and Apex, actually, and Fortnite, probably. All these games are the same dumb shit. Games are falling off, whatever. He's good, but he mostly plays Winston because Overwatch is already... It's, it's a game that is trying to be accessible to many players because you can play characters that don't require crazy aim. Winston, Mercy, Moira to an extent, Junkrat. You have characters you can play in Overwatch that don't require crazy aim. Why do, why do we need to give people aimbot as well? It's not making any sense. COD Esports is controller only because one, the game was predominantly played on console for the, ten, the last 10 years of existence, and two, Sony had exclusive sponsorships that mandated the game be played on PlayStation for five plus years, so precedent was set. That makes sense. They'd have some map knowledge for sure for a little bit, but mechanically, MK players would just do better because they have the whole arm aspect, right? Fortnite and Apex have shown that FPS games can be inclusive and accessible to players on both inputs. Yes, they've shown that you can give certain players soft aimbot and they can still do well another game that showed that controller and mk players can play the same game was hyperscape do y'all know how broken aim assist was in hyperscape they had to nerf it the game died eventually anyway but they had to nerf aim assist because it was so ridiculous i played a tournament one time twitch rivals the team that won was like a, i think a pro team of some of some kind they were practically they were all control players by the way they were aimbotting people and i mean that it was glued to these individuals if you didn't know they're on controller, you'd be like, is this guy cheating? Speaking of which, in Apex, it's crazy, right? If you're not on controller, folks will assume you're cheating if they see you play. If, if, you, if you watch Gim Burton play, for instance, you'd be like, this guy's cheating for sure. Many control players, you'd say, this guy's probably hacking. The second they stand still to loot, it basically alleviates all allegations. Even if they are cheating, it just it lessens it. The moment you, people realize, oh, he's on controller, it's fine, it's normal. How is that normal? But that's the precedent we've set because Amos is so freaking stupid broken 
that the moment you know they're on control, you're like, ah, it's just aim assist, guys. Even though he's basically aimbotting. It could be aim assist, actually. That's not healthy for the game. It has been relatively balanced, fair, and it has worked. Booga, TSM, and Dark Zero have won the game's largest esports events on mouse and keyboard. Predominantly, the historic best Apex players have been on mouse and keyboard. The objective facts and history show that it's not an unbalanced as people, most MK players, like to say it is. Oh, an MK player won the uh, large tournament against controller players. Must be. Must be that MK is broken, guys. Need to buff aim assist, I guess. Matter of fact, because MK players are beating control players, we need to buff aim assist, guys. We gotta buff it. It's not good enough. Because these MK players just keep winning these tournaments, bro. It ain't fair. It's not that simple. What's also crazy, we're looking at just the competitive aspect, right? Just in the competitive scene, aren't there? I'm not sure how many folks are on controller and Apex versus M and K, but I'm pretty sure the number is definitely going up for controller players. Like it's 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 turning the tides. Going from let's say we're like here, right? This is controller. This is mouse and keyboard. It's going like this. You're getting more control players and less M and K players. Then what's gonna happen? But regardless, look at the bigger picture. What are the majority of people using? in the average lobby. If folks are competing at the highest level on controller, what are people using in the in freaking regular play and ranked and pubs and whatever? Controller, my guy. Play the game sometime. Look at all the folks that stand still on PC. It's a lot of them. A little ridiculous. But that's what's happening in these lobbies and in, in these games. People are starting to realize more and more, like, man, this controller thing's pretty crazy. I don't have to try as hard. I can be way more consistent with way less effort. Almost as if soft aimbot helps you a lot. I am saying that if it makes sense for the game, multiplayer FPS devs should try to balance both inputs to make their game as inclusive and accessible as possible to all audiences. If it's fair and balanced enough, both inputs should be allowed at the highest levels of competition, ranked and maybe even esports as a tier. What games should really do is make their games fun. Make their games, make, make the game's gameplay accessible. Make it enjoyable, especially in the quick play modes. Apex doesn't do that. Overwatch doesn't do that. Like Overwatch is different, I guess. It's a completely different thing. But Apex does not do that at all. And I believe... That, isn't that the game that you're kind of like associated with to a degree? That's what we should be talking about. Like, this is what I'm saying. This aim assist bullshit, this like garbage m and versus controller debate divides people from talking about the actual problems. This game has not made any significant improvements in a very long time. And I mean significant given it's now season 17. The last time they tried to make some meaningful changes the addition of LTM to try and test stuff was in Season 8, War Games, I believe. Why are we not talking about the fact that, that shit's gone? They are not trying at all, really. They pump out cosmetics and events after event with no real content. They ask for more money and refuse to deliver more content. We get a new firing range, which is great. It's cool and all, but it's just a firing range. We get a new ranked mode that is garbage objectively. Not ideal. But the casual experience is still shit. So why are we talking about accessibility and inclusivity for giving people aimbot when we could be discussing, hey, how we make the game more fun? And the reality is, in pubs and ranked, if you make the game more fun, people won't even care as much about aim assist. But because Apex plays like fucking Dark Souls, when folks die, they'll focus on what killed them. Because when they die, it's very impactful. It freaking sucks, even in quick play.